hey guys what's good i'm back again with another video and um in this video i'm going to be discussing with you guys three kinds of women to avoid i know you guys have probably heard other videos or maybe watched other stuff or heard about the kind of women to avoid but this i'm going to give you guys three deep reasons why you should avoid this kind of women like deep reasons why you should avoid this kind of women so let's get to the video but before we get to the video please like comment and subscribe comment at the end subscribe now like now let me give you some seconds to do that okay you're done so let's get to it now three kinds of women to avoid deep reasons i'm going to give you guys deep reasons why you should avoid this kind of women the first reason the first reason the first kind of women to avoid are women who never listens to you a woman who never listens to you let me tell you the truth eh? if a woman doesn't listen to you she doesn't really love you take it from me what am i saying this year a woman always listens to a man that she loves admire and respect and there's no love without respect and admiration are you understanding me a woman see eh? forget all this crazy that's happening in the world right now let me tell you something eh? in a relationship setting if a woman really loves a man her her primitive psyche comes in where she knows she's supposed to like calm down and be playful and feminine and submissive to the man it just comes naturally especially if the man is a good leader if you're not a good leader now you know go and do the work and become a good leader if you want to know what the work is send me a dm on instagram well let's get on with this video a woman we always admire and respect and love and listen to a man they admire whatever what the fuck did i just say the woman will always listen to a man that she admires, respect and love. So if she's not listening to you, if she's not taking correction and guidance and advice from you, bro, it just means that she's not so in love with you. She doesn't admire you as much. She doesn't respect you as much. And she doesn't love you as much. Maybe by your own reason, though. Maybe at the beginning of the relationship, yes, she was all... She was listening to you and all and all and all. But there are some things that men do that make women lose attraction, respect, and admiration for them. And probably you have done these things. And she has naturally lost respect, admiration, and love for you. Coupled with attraction. And you are here. But if you are a good leader, or if a woman loves you, listen to me, bro. If you take nothing out of this video, take this out of this video. Listen to me. If a woman loves you, bro, she will calm down for you. She will listen to you. Her natural instincts will just set in. Forget all the feminism, this thing that happened in the world. Oh, men and women are equal. A woman knows that men and women are not equal. And in a relationship setting, if you have done work on yourself and you're an improved man or you're on the journey of improvement, a woman will naturally calm down for you. She will let you she will she will listen to you she will let you tell her what to do she will she will be in your frame do you understand she will work with you she will support you she will encourage you she will bro if she's not listening to you avoid her it's not too late oh. if you are if you are married already i'm on you know but the truth is that you can always regain this this her respect and admiration back by doing things and undoing the things that you have done before that made her lose that respect and admiration for you but it's almost always impossible to gain back the respect and admiration a hundred percent of someone who has lost it for you i don't know if i'm making sense i'm sure you understand what i mean now the second kind of woman to avoid the second kind of woman to avoid is a woman who has nothing going on for her nothing going for her going on for her most women these days see relationship and marriages as a poverty alleviation scheme they are some most women, some women are lazy they don't want to they don't want to work or suffer or you know they just want to wake up and get married to a rich man a man who has done the work it doesn't work that way ladies it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way my next video make sure you watch it ladies if you're, if you're a lady and you're watching this video make sure you watch my next video on three kinds of men to avoid because i'm going to be sharing some tips up on this point that i'm making right now so make sure you watch that video but let's get back to it avoid a woman who has nothing going for going on for themselves i've met so many women i met i've talked to girls in in, in school and they will say um i ask them what, what is your plan after school and they say i just want to get married when i'm done with you want to get married they don't want to work they don't want to they don't want to do anything for themselves 
I know here, yeah, here yeah, it, it's, it's hard here in Africa. Yeah, I know things are hard and everything good, but I will tell you, eh, I'm a testimony that if you can develop your mindset, guy, money will come. You understand? Most people don't have this knowledge. If you can develop your mindset, money will come looking for you. Most people say Africa is Africa is that I cannot make it in Africa. I need to travel out. Bro, if you come down here, eh? If you cannot make it here, you will not make it there. You you have a higher likelihood of making it there. Do you understand? The likelihood is there. You have a higher chance than here. Good, fine. But let me tell you, if you have a bad work ethic in Nigeria, you have a bad work ethic wherever you travel to. You will still have issues. You will not still make it. I know people who are who have traveled. They have, they have not made it because of one or two things. I don't know, but I'm just saying, life is not easier anywhere. If you don't develop yourself, your mindset, if you don't de develop your yourself, bro, you are going nowhere, and you cannot attract that kind of woman that you want. I'm di I I'm digressing, but guy, I hope you understand me. I hope you understand me. Never get involved with a woman who has nothing going on for herself. It will always be a disaster. Please avoid a woman who her end goal is is, is marriage. Uh, marriage is a beautiful thing, okay? If she, if she chooses chooses to get married, fine. But you should watch a woman who you want to get married to. If you see that she has no plans of even doing anything for herself, like she doesn't want to add value to herself and her life, she just wants to be beautiful and pretty and get what she wants. She will get what she wants, but at the end of the day. When her beauty fades away, when everything fades away, she will have nothing to offer. Women, I hope you are listening. Married is good. Get married early if you want to, you know. But when you get married, continue working on yourself. If you are single, keep on working on yourself. The goal is improvement till death. So please improve your life. Now, the third kind of woman you should avoid is a woman who almost never reasons logically. I know we have heard it. Women are emotional. Women are this. Women are that. Women are emotional beings. Fine. Do you understand? Our men are logical beings. Fine. No wahala. Do you understand me? But everybody has a fair share of emotions and logic. Everybody has their hot and cold state. You cannot be emotional all the time. You cannot be logical all the time. Never get involved with a woman who is always in her feelings. Always in her feels. She never sees things from your point of view. She never wants to put herself in your shoes. She never wants to understand you. She always wants to be in her feelings. And you know, people who are in their feelings are always right. They never see the wrong in themselves. They never, they, 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 they could never reason that they could be wrong. They never, they, they can't believe that just because they're in their emotions, that's that, that what emotions and feelings do towards women. You know, when we are, most times when we are in our emotions, we are always blaming other people, we are always complaining, we are always nagging. These kind of women will nag you to death. Women who are always feely. They never take correction, like I've said in my first, in the first point. They never want to listen to you. So please avoid these kind of women. Women who are always emotional and in touch with their feelings. It's all nice if it's positive emotions. But when it's negative, it takes the it takes the better of them. Negative emotions are always stronger than positive emotions. So please take care. Take care. Calm down and get married to a woman. God bless you guys. One love. Please get my new book, Texting 101. Hit the link. The link will be in the description. So please get the book. Get the book. Get the book. Get the book. I love you guys. Ciao guys. One love. Thanks for the support. Ciao. Catch you guys later in my next video. Make sure to check my previous video. Okay, we'll do it again now to end videos. Ciao, guys. Okay, I'll be clapping now. Ciao, guys. <laughs> okay, ciao, guys. Sorry.